So SCAD stands for Spontaneous Coronary Artery Dissection, and um, of all heart attacks, um, it comprises a very small proportion of heart attacks. If you look at the world's literature and see what percentage of heart attacks, or angiograms, I should say, what percentage of heart caths um, show coronary dissection, it turns out it's only about 1% of all heart caths will show coronary dissection, but it's probably vastly underdiagnosed. If we take a very specialized population or a very small subset and we limit it to women who are less than 50 who present with heart attack, about a quarter to a third of those patients will have heart attack from SCAD. So it's one of those things that has a predilection for women um, and it probably occurs more often in people who have an underlying arterial problem in another vascular bed. So if you take a person who has coronary dissection and you do a, a CT scan from head to pelvis, about three quarters of the time, um, half to three quarters of the time, you will find fibromuscular dysplasia. Um, on the other side, if you look at the FMD registry, and look at all people who've been diagnosed with FMD somewhere, and you ask them, have you had a heart attack? Have you been diagnosed with coronary dissection? Um, around 3% will say that they've had that diagnosis. So there's certainly this mismatch um, going from one direction to the other, um, but they are probably very intricately involved, and SCAD is probably just another manifestation of FMD Speaking in some of, patients. 